I love my beautiful girl so much. I love this view. guys and welcome to another video so today I'm going to be talking about a fear of hunger so I totally used to be the person that was afraid of hunger and I think the reason for this is because I had a calorie limit set up for myself and so I was afraid that what if I got to the end of the day and I had eaten all the calories that I was allowed to eat for the day and I was still hungry at the end of the day I was afraid of that because I don't like the feeling of hunger because I can't sleep when I'm hungry and so I was afraid what if I have to go over my calorie limit and then I'll get fat. Today I'm going to be talking about why you should not have a fear of hunger. So ultimately you have a fear of hunger because you're afraid of gaining weight. And basically when you no longer have a fear of gaining weight, you will no longer have a fear of hunger because you know that if you're hungry, you can just go and eat. So basically the reason why I no longer have a fear of hunger is because I know that if I'm still hungry after I finish a meal, I can just go back and eat more. It probably seems pretty simple, but I know for most of you watching you probably understand what I'm talking about. It seems like there's this anxiety around hunger and we're constantly trying to avoid it. I remember I would use diet drinks and caffeine to suppress my appetite or there's all these tricks online like you should just go drink water if you're hungry or it means that you're tired so you should have a nap or you should go out on a run because that'll suppress your appetite. Like if you go online so many websites out there that are just trying to get you to avoid being hungry and it really promotes this fear of hunger and it's just so ridiculous all it is just promoting restriction and then it's promoting more hunger in the future so basically by avoiding hunger you're just promoting more hunger in the future just remember that because the more you restrict the more you're gonna have to make up for it in the future stop trying to avoid feeling the signals that your body is giving you because it's giving you these signals for a reason and you should listen to your body so basically if you're one of these people that are afraid of hunger you you might be in an energy deficit and you might be under your body's desired weight. Once you start listening to your hunger and eating when you're hungry, then eventually you will get out of your energy deficit and you won't be thinking about food as much and then you can go on to thinking about more important things instead of worrying about hunger all the time. In an energy deficit, you're almost always thinking about food and you can't think about anything else. And it really drives this fear for hunger because you're always thinking about being hungry, you're always thinking about food, and then you're always worried about eating too much food and it's just not a way to live you don't want to live your life like that because when you're always thinking about food suddenly your passions become less important and you don't have the desire to hang out with friends as much um, you don't have the desire to do the things that you love because basically you're in a state that's threatening your survival and so your brain is thinking about more important things like eating rather than things like doing your hobbies or hanging out with friends your brain basically prioritizes food over these other things I really recommend not counting calories for this reason or at least not giving value to the number that you're eating because for example I always used to try to eat a net of 1700 calories a day and I was afraid of hunger because I was afraid that once I ate 1700 calories if I was still hungry then I wasn't gonna allow myself to eat more but I would be hungry and then I wouldn't be able to sleep and so this fear of hunger can make you go crazy I don't have a calorie limit set for myself I can eat 2,000 or I can eat 5,000 calories a day and I don't care. Once you let go of this calorie number that you have set for yourself and you give up on losing weight, then you don't have to worry about the fear of hunger. Losing weight through calorie restriction is not the way to go about it because you will always gain the weight back in the future. Once I finally gave up wanting to lose weight, wanting to look a certain way, then I just ate and listened to my body and listened to my hunger and then my body took me to my happy place naturally. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And until next time, peace out guys. Bye.